Today, the focus is a little bit more on IT, but what I'm going to say is actually applicable for any kind of shared services, classical shared services department, IT, HR, legal, financial, you know them all. So there's kind of a, a paradox that once you understand it, you can drive a major change in, in IT. And the paradox is like that. Every IT leader complains or sees it as a problem that IT is not considered to be part of the uh, business. Not everyone, let's say most, to be more accurate. And those leaders or people that are part of IT are really concerned about it and they are trying to find a way how to turn IT from just a cost center into part of the business, vivid part of the business that treated as yet another business. And the paradox is that you can't do it as long as you're keeping IT as a silo. So from my point of view, one of the main problems with IT is that it's not just a silo. It's silos that likes it. It's silos that contain people that sees themselves separated from the company. We are IT, we, this is our expertise, not exactly the business, we're here to help, we're here to support, we love what we are doing, but it's not a problem for us to go and move and do it in another company, in the same industry, in different industry. IT is our industry. Uh, and this, um, this attitude is projected by the group of the IT folks. And on the other end, this idea is also followed or it's a concept of other departments that using IT because it's a different department, it's a silo, it's providing services, it's coming doing a project and goes away. If there's any problem, I contact them. So there is a separation between what IT doing as a silo and the other business unit or clients of IT from perception both of people inside IT and outside IT and both from really clear two different silos. And if you really want to make IT as part of the value chain, the only way to do it is by breaking the IT group into smaller group and decentralize them by pushing them to your clients. So if it's different business unit, it's different business unit. If it's a different department, it's different department. If it's a different company, it's different companies. It really doesn't matter. What matters is that if you want IT to become part of the value chain, the IT folks needs to be part of the business. They need to feel that they are part of a business. They need to be not in a segregate, segregated silo, they need to be embedded in business unit, working with departments or group within the business unit, that will change their perception, that will change the customer perception, and that will drive IT to start to create solutions that are actually part of the value chain. If you want to do that, and you keep on using the central IT model, I doubt it that you can reach the same achievements that someone that will decentralize IT will get in terms of making IT a true part of the value chain of the company. So that's all. Two or three minutes of um, IT. As I said, whatever I said about IT is applicable to HR, to legal, to financial, to purchasing, to all the service department that usually exist in kind of a shared services model. Thank you. I hope that you enjoy it. Bye.